Ebbinger is the most iconic bakery that ever existed in Brooklyn, making its way to generations that were born after it was closed. It was even mentioned by celebrities, like Barbara Streisand, on various TV shows. But it was one specific recipe that made everyone in the city drool. The Ebbinger's Mocha Cake For anyone that does not know what it is, this classic cake consists of a yellow sponge, creamy, and delicious mocha buttercream, covered with hard chocolate, and flaked almonds. It is delicious and we recommend you try our take on it, which is based on Beth Michelle's recipe. This recipe will yield one large cake. We will be using two 9 inch by 1 and a half inch cake pans. Before starting, grease and flour them, to be able to take them easier out of the mold. You can also use baker's spray. It will take you about 2 hours to make it, but only 15 minutes to prepare before you start. You need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So grab all the ingredients, and let's get baking. Ingredients For the sponge 6 large egg yolks 1 cup of milk 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract 3 cups of flour 1 and a half cups of sugar 1 tablespoon plus 1 teaspoon of baking powder 3 quarters teaspoon of salt 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature and cut into pieces For the mocha frosting 1 cup of unsalted butter at room temperature 3 cups of powdered sugar 2 teaspoons of cocoa powder 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract 2 teaspoons of ground dark coffee 1 tablespoon of milk for the hard chocolate 6 tablespoons unsalted butter 12 ounces dark chocolate chips for garnish 1 candied cherry 1 cup of flaked almonds how to make this easy mocha cake step 1 we will start by making the cake batter first combine the egg yolks 1 quarter cup of milk and vanilla extract in a medium bowl step 2 in a large mixing bowl, combine all dry ingredients. Step 3. Add the butter and remaining 3 quarters cup of milk to the dry ingredients. With an electric or handheld mixer, combine everything until everything is moistened. Once all is combined, increase the speed to medium and beat 2 minutes to add air. This will make it lighter. Step 4. Add the egg, milk, and vanilla extract mixture 3 different times. You need to beat for about 30 seconds between each one so that the egg is well combined. Step 5. Once everything is mixed, your batter will be ready. Divide it into the greased and floured pans to bake them. The will only be half full, so do not fret. Make sure to smooth out their surface. Step 6. Bake them for 25 to 35 minutes. You will know they are ready once a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. They should spring back if pressed. Let them cool completely. Step 7. While that is going on, we will turn our attention to the mocha frosting. First, we need to combine the powdered sugar, ground coffee, and cocoa powder in a bowl. Step 8. Back to the electric mixer, fluff up the butter. You will need to whip it for about 3 minutes. Add the vanilla extract while still whipping the butter. Step 9. Very slowly add the dry ingredients. Make sure to do this at a low speed so that the powdered sugar does not blow up in your face. Step 10. Once everything is combined, add the milk and continue beating until you have a creamy consistency. It should be fluffy. Step 11. Once the cakes are cool you can proceed to cut them in half. We only need three thinnish layers, so there will be one extra that you can use to make cake pops or something of the sort. Step 12. Now let's move on to assembly. Over some parchment paper, place the first layer of the cake and cover it with the frosting. Repeat this one more time and place the last layer on top. Step 13. Use the rest of the frosting to crumb coat and cover the entire cake. Leave it in the fridge to cool down. It will take at least one hour. Step 14. When it is almost time to take out the cakes, we can prepare the hard chocolate. 
For this, you will want to melt the chocolate and butter together over a double boiler. You can also do this in the microwave in 10 second intervals. Let it cool down a bit before using it. Step 15. Take the cake out of the fridge and put it on a rack so that any extra chocolate can flow to a pan below. Cover it carefully with the chocolate. Make sure the sides are well covered. Step 16. As a garnish, use the flaked almonds and carefully place them all over the sides while the chocolate is setting. This way they will stay put. Do the same with the candied cherry, placing it on top, in the middle. This very classic, but still very special recipe is one of our favorites. I am a mocha fiend myself ever since I tried it when I was just a kid. It is a very grown-up flavor, so to speak, but I was crazy for it. This one was very special, and I am glad I can recreate it for my family that did not have the opportunity to try the original. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.